Hey everyone, happy June. It is Tracy coming to you live from Golden Dog Adventure Company headquarters. And it is that time of the month where I come to you live and let you know about all the great things we are doing for the month. And we have a jam packed June. There is lots of stuff going on. This is a very busy time of year for us, primarily because of all the daylight we have. So I'm really looking forward to sharing all the good stuff uh, coming up with you. So stay tuned here. I'm gonna go through our presentation. Let me share my screen bigger with you here. Oh, Chris is joining us and says, good afternoon. Good to see you, Chris. Glad you could join us. All right, so let's hop into it here. So stay tuned because we will also reveal the May golden ticket winner at the end. And if you are not sure what the what a golden ticket is, it is a member only benefit. And I will explain what that is all about when we get to the end and we'll reveal our winner from May. So wanted to let everybody know this was long waited. Um, our goal was to have launched this in April. We have finally launched now. Uh, the reason is I'm very particular about the items that we have in our store. <clears throat> they need to be uh, from a, um, a company that has a sustainable mission uh, and a sustainable process. And also I need to bring in every item and I need to test it. I need to get it embroidered. I need to make sure it holds up to what we need. So uh, we are almost there. Uh, we do have most of the items in our store now. We will be adding a few more between now and fall, and then we'll be adding things seasonally. So here's a look at some of the items that are there now. Uh, many of these items too are also available for purchase at the community events that we will be going to throughout the summer. <clears throat> and uh, members uh, also receive 15% off anything in the store, and that's anything, not just apparel. And then uh, just a reminder, I did email you yesterday, but if you joined uh, in March of this year, so the last time the club was open, um, and you chose the Adventure and Education an Annual Membership, then you also are getting an additional $50 credit. Uh, towards apparel in this store. So that is in addition to your 15% off. And that was a bonus that was offered uh, for that certain type of membership in May. So um, you received those emails, you got your code. So go ahead and take advantage of that. If you know you joined in May and you did not, uh, excuse me, in March, and you did not receive that uh, email, let me know and I will resend it to you. So I uh, wanted to thank a few people uh, in May and a few companies. So uh, Kathy Ford, she is someone that we work with down at Beaver Brook Association who has helped with leading uh, some of our events down there. We thank her for her help and her knowledge um, of all the different plants and birds and flowers down there. Uh, Dr. Lisa Boyer at Animal Health Consultants, um, Misbehavior, Laura Gendron, who was our featured expert for last month. Flag Hill Winery, we had two great events there last month. Red Pointy Dog, lots of fun at the dog parkour uh, activity in Barrington. We had two sessions that uh, sold out very quickly. And then a first of its kind nutrition presentation and lab from veteran, um, Dr. Hannah Wells, <clears throat> excuse me, at Veterinary Wellness Center. So uh, we are grateful to our partners and sponsors for all their help with last year. Oh, last year, geez. My brain is thinking too fast. Last month, uh, Terry's checking in. She says, it's time for me to go shopping. Yes, Terry. Uh, in addition to that really cool t-shirt that you got for being a part of our focus group too. Uh, we got to get you outfitted and we got to get Rocky outfitted too. All right. So our featured expert for June is Monica Allaire McMahon of Barrington Barks and Behavior. We had a great pop-up talk last night on canine enrichment. Uh, went into lots of great detail. And if you are a member, uh, that uh, video is uploaded in the pause curriculum in the member only section of the website for you to access at any time. So our topic for June is uh, canine enrichment. Uh, this is a very popular month. We have a great workbook uh, for our members this month. If you have not downloaded it already, again, you can do so in the uh, member only section of the website. We are going to be covering a number of things this month, including proper exercise, brain games, what is the right activity level for your dog, is your dog bored, uh, best swimming and walking trails, and we're going to be um, 
visiting some of those best uh, swimming uh, spots that uh, we keep so secret uh, so that they don't get really busy. We're going to be visiting many of them in June. How much playtime does my dog need? Training games, cues, intro to canine sports, dogs and nature, and much more. So again, that is part of the pause curriculum for members. And that is all available in the member only section of the website. Cindy's checking in too. She says Jethro and I are working with Monica. Awesome. Great choice. I know that you guys are working on getting some relaxation <clears throat> cues uh, and uh, activities in place for Jeth Jethro. So I'm glad that's working out for you. So we are going to a lot of places this month and we're going to be uh, actually, let's see, uh, three, four. We're going to be in four states this month. One of them is actually a, a private event, so it's not listed on here. Uh, but we're going to be in Maine. We have a private event in Massachusetts. We're actually going to Vermont this month, and we have uh, several throughout New Hampshire. And I will explain more as we get into our events here. So again, just a reminder, uh, you must pre-register for all events. Tickets are limited, again, to keep our events uh, safe, uh, inclusive, and welcoming. So the number of tickets that are available will be listed in the event. And if there's tickets still available, that will be listed uh, where you purchase tickets at the um, bottom of the event listing so that you'll know if there are any available. So first off, this Sunday, we are going to be at the NHSPCA Pause Walk at Stratum Hill Park. Uh, we are going to have a double booth there, actually, and we're going to be doing our water sensory games. We're going to have um, also a, a sensory um um, I guess, lack of a better word, you'd call it a pool because it's one of our, our pools. We're going to have water in one, um, or actually maybe water in two. It depends on how much space we have, and then one will be uh, with treats. So we're looking forward to having that. We're going to have um, food puzzles as well. If you visited us at Pope Memorial uh, the um, in Dover in May, I believe it was, beginning of May, um, it's similar to the setup we had there. However, we're going to have a lot more of our... Uh, eco uh, store apparel with us, including our canine flea and tick spray. We will also have our punch cards there, um, which are pictured here. And I'll talk a little bit. Uh, actually, no, I'm meant to talk more about that when I flashed up the eco store. But if you are not familiar with what our punch cards are, <clears throat> it whether you are a member or not, it gets you our events, our pack adventures and our pop up adventures uh, at a discount. So the cost is $12.50 per event versus uh, $15 per event. You can buy this in our store for $125. It's good for uh, those uh, 10 of those events that I mentioned. And if you are a member and you're looking to purchase this for uh, bringing a significant other, bringing a friend, um, you actually get your 15% off of that price as well. So uh, that makes it a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit cheaper for you. So all that stuff will be available at the pause walk. Come out and see us. Uh, then starting next week on the 7th, Tuesday, we are going to be doing a uh, streaming live, a challenge with our featured expert, Monica of Barrington Barks and Behavior. And you can learn all about that on our website. And there will be a giveaway associated with that. Uh, there'll be some great educational tips and it's an um, interactive uh, challenge. So I hope you'll get involved with that. And that will be streaming live in not only the community and the member only group, but also on our Facebook page. So that is open to everyone, no charge. And uh, Dr. Lisa Boyer will be back on Wednesday, June 8th for our Ask the Veterinarian series. And Monica from Barrington Barks and Behavior will also be joining her and they will be discussing canine enrichment this month. <clears throat> so Little Harbor Loop Trail is one of our favorite places. Uh, it is a great spot to go swimming. We will be there at low tide. Uh, the section we are accessing actually can't be accessed uh, unless it is low tide. So uh, this is a great place to go swimming. This is actually a picture of one of our members' dogs. I believe this is April and Bowen. Uh, enjoying the uh, tidal waters out there. So that will be Thursday, June 9th at 3 p.m. And then, of course, we will be stopping at one of our favorite places in Rye to get ice cream. It is that time of year, and you all know how much I like ice cream. <laughs> uh, our official club event this month is Canine Snoozlin' in Nature. That is probably a term you are not familiar with. 
Uh, if you were involved in the pop-up pop talk last night on canine enrichment from uh, Barrington Barks and Behavior, we went into that in more detail. Uh, there, are, <clears throat> there are also uh, details on the website regarding what this is. It is going to be a very fun event. I'm really looking forward to it. And this is going to be Saturday, June 11th at 9 a.m. in Barrington. Uh, this was carried over from last month due to thunderstorms. So this is rescheduled for Saturday, June 11th at 6 p.m. Uh, dogs are not allowed on the beach in Maine prior to 6 p.m. So we will be there from 6 p.m. to 9 we are going to be having fun on the beach. We are going to walk into town, uh, check out the York Fire Department where they always have biscuits and water waiting for us. Uh, we'll take a walk around the town, we'll head over for ice cream, and then we'll head out to Nubble Lighthouse to see the sunset. Um, we did this similar event uh, last year. The, the sunset was gorgeous. We just had a, a fabulous time. So uh, hoping the weather holds out for us on uh, the 11th. And then on Sunday, June 12th, our sensory scavenger hunt at the mall is back. This is um, hunt number three. So we add a number every time something changes to the formula. And this time we're making it a scavenger hunt, not only for um, dogs, but also for humans. So what we're doing is dogs have a scented dot in an area. There's about 25 of them uh, all spread around the mall, which is about 600,000 square feet and they have to seek them out. And you have a, a key that tells you what uh, <clears throat> what flavors, what fragrances they are uh, smelling so that you know what they're interested in. But also we're going to have a separate scented dot at a uh, human level so that you can also smell what your dog is smelling. So whether it's lavender or beeswax or almond or wolf urine, <laughs> you will get to see exactly and get to smell exactly what your dog is smelling too. So uh, that, that should be a hoot. So let's see. Chris said he signed up today and looking forward to it. Fun. And actually, I don't know which event you're talking about, Chris, because I think you posted this um, a couple slides back. But um, Glad that you are coming to check us out in June and hop on some events. Marianne said, Bailey is excited to meet the firemen. Oh, okay. So Chris probably was talking about the one up at York. Yeah, that'll be fun. They will absolutely love Bailey, I'm sure. So keep your fingers crossed, guys, for good weather. All right. So uh, this official club event with Laura Gendron of Misbehavior was held over from last month because of weather as well. So we will be going out to Wagon Hill Farm and doing our event. They are looking forward to that. That was sold out last I checked, um, but everybody's schedule changes. So even if it's sold out now, uh, feel free to check back or join the waiting list. Um, and I do follow up with people when uh, tickets become available. And so uh, two, two official club events are happening this month. And every time you uh, attend a fit, an official club event, you do get, um, uh, I guess, a check mark, for lack of a better word, on our form so that when you attend six, you actually earn an official club T-shirt. And this was the yellow one that I showed you that says um, Adventure Awaits. It was uh, the design that was voted on this year by members. So that is the official limited edition t-shirt for this year that you will earn when you attend six. And I think we have three, two or three people who have been to the all three official club events that have happened so far. So uh, they're, they're halfway there. Uh, let's see, Jamie says, uh, how easy is the Wagon Hill Walk? So Jamie, uh, the Wagon Hill uh, Farm is a very easy area. It's very flat. We go out to a, a big open field. We go down to the bay and we walk some short trails. And uh, much of what we will be doing there as well is um, some activities and cues and exercises with uh, Laura Gendron. So if, uh, if you do have a dog that is a senior dog or has limited mo uh, mobility, uh, this uh, could be a good uh, outing for them just because it is a shorter walk and it's more focused on this activity. But uh, feel free to reach out to me with any specifics that you need for your specific dog and I can um, answer those questions for you. And if I don't have the answers, then I will connect you with Laura. Oops. I just, sorry, just skipped over that. I was getting so excited. So uh, we had this event in May as well, and we had a, a, a holdover or carryover of the event that's happening this Saturday. It's actually been rescheduled to June 14th, which is a Tuesday night. 
the live event has already happened, but we do have the pre the prison uh, the excuse me the replay, um, which is a prerequisite for the lab. And you may have seen us post in the community group uh, the fun that we had at the first one. Um, everybody was uh, learning how to calculate uh, their specific the specific needs for their dog based on body condition score, weight, age, and a number of factors. And then they uh, created uh, recipes in mason jars with um, different protein and carbohydrates and, and fruit and vegetables that we brought. So that, that was a, a great event. The next one will be held on that Tuesday, the 14th, as I mentioned. And I believe we still have two spots left if you are interested in signing up for that. That is going to be in conjunction with uh, Dr. Hannah Wells of Veterinary Wellness Center be held in Exeter. Uh, one of our favorite spots here as well, we were here for the maple sugaring experience. Um, if you remember, even though it was cold, some dogs did go in. This is a great spot where dogs and people can be uh, swimming in the river. We'll be doing that as a pack adventure on June 15th. And just as a heads up, just so you know, there are a lot of cyanobacteria warnings that have been uh, released um, from the state on a number of uh, bodies of water in New Hampshire. We do keep an eye on that and we do make sure that where we are going prior to event, an event is safe. So uh, I don't want you to worry about that if for some reason and if um, a body of water we're going to has a report from the state, then we will reschedule the event until it is safe. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, oh, losing my bandwidth here. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, there is a post that is pinned in the community group from uh, NHDES. Uh, it is a chart that they update daily on where the cyanobacteria blooms are. So you can, uh, check that post. I encourage you to if you're taking your dog swimming just to make sure that the area is safe. So our popular reactive dog support groups are back for June. The first one will be on uh, Wednesday instead of Thursday. It will actually be Wednesday, June 15th uh, this month just due to a conflict with an event on the 16th which is a pop-up adventure. We're calling it um, Wind Down With Your Dog at Zorvino Vine Vineyards. This is our first time at Zorvino. Uh, we're looking forward to this partnership. And uh, this is kind of a pack adventure, pop-up adventure because it happens during the week. Uh, but it is uh, in the evening, uh, starts at 5.30 and will end at eight o'clock. So we're looking forward to that. Michelle says that her and Ruby are looking forward to this one because it's right near camp. Yeah, this one's in Sandown. I don't actually know if we've uh, done an event in Sandown yet. So I'm looking forward to heading down to that area to meet up with these folks. And I know these tickets were limited. I believe there is one left. Um, we were able to get a second event with them for July. So if you did not get tickets to this event, this will be um, offered again in July. Uh, oh, Paige is going. Good. So Allie says she is going and Paige is going. We haven't seen Paige for a while because she's been injured. So I'm glad that she'll be able to get out and we'll be able to see her. Awesome. Great to hear. So this is going to be a fun one. This is in collaboration with uh, Stefan at Mountain Dogware. Um, you may have heard me uh, mention that company in the past because all of our adventure guides carry their rescue harness. Uh, so um, it's the only thing we uh, we use, um, the only harness we use because uh, we really like it and we think it's made really well. So uh, Stefan will actually be coming out with us uh, for, because this is Hiking Preparedness um, or Hiking Awareness, Hiking Preparedness, National Preparedness Awareness Month. I don't quite remember. prepared on the trail, what kind of emergency supplies you would, should have with you. And we will have a number of rescue harnesses with us. Um, we actually did this event last year as well with one of our trainers. And uh, it was quite popular. People got a chance to use the different harnesses with their dogs so that they could see how to put it on and then how to lift their dogs up um, once their dog was in the, uh, the harness, which was actually quite tricky. So uh, Stefan will be there with us to go through um, how to use his harness, he'll answer questions. He will also be offering a discount for anybody who wants to purchase their own harness. Um, all adventure guides carry them. So if you are ever on one of our events, um, we are there prepared with a harness 
uh, to help you as well as all the other emergency supplies that we carry. So that's something that we're going to be talking about here. We have not yet been to, actually, no, I, I take that back. We've hiked at Pawtuckaway State Park once uh, last year or, or a couple of years ago, I can't remember. We're going to be walking the Fundy Trail. We haven't been on the Fundy Trail, we've been on the Boulder Trail. So I believe it's going to be 3.4 miles. It's relatively flat. It'll be a great opportunity for us to um, try out the harnesses and do some of the other um, pre preparedness uh, education that we're going to be rolling out. So really looking forward to this one. This is a fun one. We had some requests for this last year, so we brought it on this year, even though in the state of New Hampshire, there is only one national park, which is St. Gaudens. It is located in Cornish. Uh, this is normally out of the territory that we travel to, but it is an exception because it's a special event. So we will be going over to the border of Vermont for this one. And uh, what a bark ranger is. If you have kids, you might be familiar with the junior ranger program at the national parks. This is a bark ranger program that they started for dogs where dogs have to go and do a certain number of things and handlers have to learn um, some different etiquette at the parks with dogs. And then the dogs earn, uh, it's either a patch or a pin. E each park is a little bit different. So we're starting out with this one. We have uh, one offering in June. We'll be going back in July. And then we're also in conversation with a few national parks in Massachusetts. Uh, that we plan to head to later this summer as well. So that'll be 10 a.m. in Cornish, uh, and that is on Father's Day. Uh, it will be a hike, a picnic, and a ceremony. And then after, we will actually be going over the border into Vermont, uh, visiting Silo Distillery for a sampling. Um, it, this is at Artisan Park, which is a beautiful area, um, nice big open field, lots of different unique shops there. Uh, and if you don't make it to this one on Father's Day, if you've got other uh, Father's Day plans, then we will be going again to this area in uh, July, uh, doing the Bark Ranger program again. But then we will be going to Harpoon Brewery, which is also at Artisan Park. So two opportunities this summer to uh, get involved with this program here. Uh, our second reactive dog support group is the following week on Wednesday, June 22nd. Monica from Barrington Barks and Behavior will also be our special guest for the participants at that support group. We will also be at the first annual Paws in the Park Dog Festival, which is up in Tuftonboro. So uh, going a little bit out of our territory to uh, see some new areas, meet some new people. Um, if you are from that area and you want to come over and check us out, we'd love to meet you. And we will also have the same items and apparel and tick spray and all the great stuff uh, that we have been selling um, at all of our events. We'll be up there as well as as uh, as well as the uh, popular bandanas that we just rolled out. Uh, and um, I thought there was something else I wanted to say about this one. No, I don't think so. So that one's Saturday, uh, June 5th. Like I said, it's the it's the first one of its kind. Uh, but there is supposed to be a lot of fun things going on there. Food trucks, uh, other vendors, and fun and games for dogs and humans. Uh, this one was a carryover as well due to a COVID exposure. So um, I'm really looking forward to this one too. This is a fun walk, um, or I should say hike. Uh, it's Uh, feet. So, but it, it is a fun walk and there is a, a neat sign at the top about uh, the dog that first hiked it and um, named it, a dog named Ripley. So we'll be going there Thursday, June 30th at 3 p.m. So if you would like to register for any of these events, you just have to go to goldendognh.com, click on the events and activities tab. And you actually, it, it's hard to see on the website, but there is a, a small white button you can only see it if you roll over it. Uh, it becomes black. We are working on some of the uh, logistics of our website now. Um, but if you only see, say, 12 events on the page and you want to see what's beyond um, June, uh, then you just have to scroll over under the last um, images or graphics shown and you will see that button pop up and you can continue to scroll. I think we have events posted all the way through October at the moment. We're always filling in. 
All right, so also a reminder that uh, membership does open again on June 20th. We only open membership uh, in Golden Dog four times a year so that we can spend quality time working with our members on uh, the educational uh, feature, the pause curriculum, and also getting them acclimated, get, getting them out there into adventures, answering questions, and making sure that they feel um, welcome and included in um, all that we do. So the next opening will be June 20th, and more information will be coming about that. If you can't wait, um, we actually have over 140 people on our wait list. There's a lot of people that can't wait, which is awesome to see. You can go to goldendognh.com and join the waitlist. All right, so end of summer party coming up. It actually doesn't seem like it's that far away. I hate to think that we're getting towards the end of summer because it hasn't even officially started yet. But when I'm planning months and months in advance, to me, it always seems like summer goes by or the seasons go by so fast. So uh, this is going to be a fun party on September 10th. It is in collaboration with Seacoast Picnic. Uh, one of the reasons that we picked them is because they are also focused on creating unique experiences for people. Uh, and we are throwing in a um, fun uh, uh, twist to this. This one will be for dogs and people. This is actually the first event of its kind that they have. Um, win a golden ticket. Um, our uh, team has also been. then uh, we will either we may either give them away or we may sell them and I, I'm noticing that my bandwidth keeps uh, fading in and out here guys so um, sorry if uh, you if my conversation here is getting a little choppy so anyways, let's go into awarding this next um, golden ticket. So again, it is awarded monthly. It is uh, only to a member. It's a member benefit. And a member is chosen if they are focused on community and subscribes to our core beliefs and values. The community of people who have similar interests and beliefs about pet care. We believe dogs learn best using positive, fun, and enriching. Growing, and we also believe that time spent in the natural world reduces stress, increases. Post that you can still hear me, or is it very choppy, or are you only getting every other? really sure why I don't usually have a bandwidth problem I just wanted to okay so Michelle says choppy let's see it's very choppy very choppy missing a lot it keeps freezing oh for god's sakes and we'll just see what happens. All right, fingers crossed, guys. I can get through this. This person is very active in the club and has attended more events in two months than... events they've attended, but it is more than any other person in the history of the club so far, uh, besides, you know, Ray and myself. Uh, this person has been uh, very active, but uh, in the community, but so has uh, this person's dog. So this person uh, went out of their way to research a new area for a brewery social, sending parking info pictures and trail details, which was really helpful to us. 
So if you guys, uh, I know it's still a little choppy, but does anyone have any guesses who this might be? Susan says Mercury in retrograde acting up. Yeah, I, I always think Mercury, Mercury is in retrograde, but I don't know if it is right now. That's always my go-to excuse. So I don't know if that's uh, the case or not. So um, if, if you can hear me, if my bandwidth is holding out here, does anyone have any guesses who this might be? Just curious, because sometimes people do come up with the names. Oh, Chris has a guess, Orion. So that that is the dog's name. Curious if anybody knows the member's name. All right, well, I'm going to do the big reveal. So Chris was correct on the dog's name. Yes, Marianne said Paula. So uh, exactly. So that's Paula uh, Santo Chevette. She has been very, very busy in the club. Um, she actually lives in Massachusetts and drives all over to our events. Um, it's very cool to see her and Orion. They have a lot of a lot of fun. Um, we've enjoyed watching Orion grow up from a small pup to uh, he's just over eight months now. Um, they're they're very active. They're uh, Orion was so cute at one of our events. He was uh, teaching. Um, Oh, I can't even remember which dog it was now. I think it was one of the younger dogs. Um, how to go in the water. We were at Adam's Point. He had a Frisbee. He was sharing it. Um, it was very cool. Uh, we had a lot of fun. And um, uh, uh, Paula has uh, sourced out a great place for us uh, around where she lives in Massachusetts, a brewery um, with uh, a walk. She looked at the parking. She looked at the trail. She sent pictures. Uh, it was it was really helpful. So we are naming Paula and Orion as our fourth golden ticket winner, and they will receive an invitation to join us in September for the end of the summer party. So that's all I have for you today, guys. I appreciate you staying with me here. And uh, if you have any questions about anything that's coming up, uh, feel free to post in uh, the community group. Members certainly can post in the, uh, the community group or the member only group. But uh, it is a busy, busy month. I hope you guys are able to come out and enjoy the extra daylight and uh, hopefully really good weather that we will have in June. All right, guys. So enjoy the rest of your day. And I know I'll see you on the trail soon. All right. Take care.